Hey guys. Hopefully you can see me. Let me know if you can see me. Give me some hearts. I'm trying to get, I think it's, I think it's six. I don't know. I didn't even look at my clock. Let me see. Hold on. Okay. So I sent my, my guest request and now I'm just waiting for her to jump on. Hope everyone's doing awesome tonight. I just got back from taking Brinley to gymnastics. And so we're just, the kids are downstairs. Derek's coming home. He's gonna make elk tacos as usual, cause that's his fave. I'm finishing up a cleanse day. Feeling amazing, it's my second day. I feel amazing. Hey Marquis, thanks for hopping on. Tell me what time it is, <laughs> cause I don't know. I was supposed to hop on at six, so I'm on at six and I've sent my invite, so. I'm hoping she hops on. I really want you guys to see this. Um, her story's amazing. Oh, yay. Okay. How do I? Okay, so I add as guest. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Add them on the camera. Add. Okay. Seeing how this is working. I think it's working. It says adding watching bring them on camera okay i'm adding it says oh yay it works okay good it works hi brooke okay, so you guys i'm so i guess i'm a little early i'm like two minutes early um i didn't even know what time it was uh, so you guys i wanted to introduce you to my friend brooke she's amazing she's a fellow yellow if you don't know what that is go google the color code dot com it's amazing to just figure out you know your personality types but um She's a beautiful woman. She's married to my husband's really good friend now, since we've known each other since 2013. And I met Brooke at an event. We were just kind of discussing it um, about, so yeah, 2013, we were at an event and I met her at lunch, right? I'm pretty sure. Yes. Can you hear me, Brooke? I hope you can. I can hear you fine. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm like, this, I've never done this before. It's brand new. So um, we met at lunch and I just remember like loving them. I don't know. They just came over to hang out and eat lunch with us. And I was like, oh, they're my people. Like, I really like Kenny. Kenny's her husband. I really like him. And so I just knew we'd hit it off really great. And um, she's been a blessing in my life. And I love this industry because people are brought into your life that have amazing stories that just continue to bless you with just having them in their lives. So I love it. And thanks guys for hopping on. So Brooke, I just wanted to invite you on here. I want you to share your story. I think your story is so powerful because you actually owned your own physical brick and mortar business. So I'd love for you to just go into that, go in, like go into the, the stress, go into all that stuff that it really entailed and yeah, just bring us into it. Awesome. Oh, well, thanks, Meredith, first of all, for having me on. It's a pleasure and an honor. And for everybody who's joining us. Um, so, you know, it was, it'll be five years in May that I was in the lowest place of my life. I was hopeless. I was in financial I mean, if anyone can relate to bill collectors calling you and um, just how you're going to pay the next bill and um, my husband and I weren't getting along because of the financial stresses. And if I can go three back three years prior to that, I did own a brick and mortar business for 10 years with my family and it was a restaurant. And for anyone that has ever had a brick and mortar business, it was very demanding and I, it was a family business. So I thought that was going to be my future. So in talking with you, Meredith, we were talking about the upfront commitment to that business and it was a huge commitment financially and we signed a lease. Um, but unfortunately due to redevelopment, I ended up losing that business with my family. Um, and I was devastated at 38 years old. I was like, this is all I know. And I, I don't know where to go from here. So I got into pet care for a little bit, but um, that wasn't paying the bills, which brought me to five years ago where I was, I was basically crying myself to sleep. I was um, gaining weight 
and just um, at a loss. I, I just didn't know which way was up. I was praying to God every day for him to show me the way. And um, luckily, this beautiful solution was dropped in my lap by a friend of mine who had posted on Facebook that she was feeling amazing. And I said, what is it? <laughs> I just want to know what it is because I want to feel amazing because I hate how I feel in my body. If anyone can relate. I mean, I was shaming myself every day in the mirror, right? Mirror, like we just go through these phases of life and we're so hard on ourselves as women, but it was just where I was at. And I told Kenny, I was like, babe, I want to try this. And he told me, he's like, I'm sad to say this, but we can't afford it. And it brings me to tears to think about it because we, we were still financially just in a really bad spot. And so I said, listen, I need this and it's already on its way. I put it on a credit card. And he was like, what? And he's like, it's a fad. This is so dumb. I can't believe we're doing this. And I was like, it, you know, it's a nutritional system. And I said, there's a hundred percent money back guarantee and we'll send it back. And he's like, sweet. We'll send it back on day 28. <laughs> I was like, okay. Yeah. And, um, yep. he was really against, he was really against it. And he thought that, um, it was stupid. It wasn't going to work. So on day 12, we just had amazing results like everyone does when they put beautiful um, nutrition in their body. And it wasn't even the weight that came off of us that we were excited about because my husband lost 12 pounds in 12 days and I lost five, but it really wasn't even the weight. It was like, we looked at each other and we're like, oh my gosh, we feel great. And um, you know, that stress that was just, we were carrying around, didn't feel so heavy. And then um, I started sharing it with some friends and family on the down low on the DL. Like has anybody been there where they're like, Secret. this stuff is really cool. I don't know. You might like it. And, um, and then naturally they saw Kenny's results because men tend to just shed it so easily. And, yeah. um, they're like, what are you guys doing? We're like, we're doing this thing. It's awesome. Try it. And I started getting paid. I started getting paid. And so my entrepreneurial heart was like, I need to look at this. I need to take a closer look. And I was invited to a business meeting that had Betsy frame. If anyone knows Betsy, throw some love across the screen. She's the most amazing yeah. person ever. And um, ever. Laura Krulish. If anyone knows her, Laura Krulish. I'm very good. Woo, yeah. Oh, I owe so much to that woman. Oh, thanks, Luke. Thanks for joining. And so, and I really appreciate that. Luke was, um, he was a customer of mine and a friend for a long time at my bar. But, um, so yeah, it was, it was a really tough time for me, but at the same time going to this business meeting, I was like, I want to learn, but I, to be honest with you, was very skeptical of network marketing, right? I had a really bad experience just with some friends who had jumped into it and it became, just really salesy. And I was like, I don't want to do this like this. And if this is anything like that experience, I don't want to be a part of it. And I went with my arms crossed. <laughs> right. Yeah. And I went into this yeah. meeting and I was like, okay, what are you guys going to tell me that, you know, I was like, if this is about a get rich thing or getting a yeah. car or just something that makes me feel yucky, I don't want to be a part of it, but it yeah. wasn't. <laughs> It wasn't, no. as you know, Mare, it's the most beautiful thing. And the, the, these people are just here to serve. And I was like, wow, I can get on board with this. Um, and I just left that meeting like, babe, I, I think there's something here. And God prompted me to quit my job at the time. I was working for a horrible person. She was, uh, <laughs> I was, I don't know if anybody's been there as a personal assistant who berated me every day. And I've never quit a job in my life. But at that point, I was like, enough is enough. I feel good. I feel like this is the answer. And so um, uh, Betsy was like, you know what? Come to this event in Vegas. And that's where I initially met you, Mayor. That's where I initially met you. And I went out to Las Vegas and I, I cleansed while I was out there. We had like no money. And I, I was in a room with five people and I caught the vision of this beautiful company and of this industry, the industry of done right and, um, you know, ethically and morally and with a huge vision and the right people behind it. I was like, I came home on fire. Kenny's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. First of all, you want us to do this health thing. And now you want us to do network marketing. Are yeah. you on your mind, sister? Right. And I was like, I might be, but I feel like God's prompting me. And I'm going to stay the course. I'm going to commit to this. I'm going to commit to learning the skills. And I'm going to free people. And I'm going to help as many people as I possibly can. Yeah. So. Yes, that brings it's me to amazing, today. It's, it's an amazing journey because 
when we were talking last night and just seeing you grow. So I've seen you grow, you guys. So Brooke was brought into my organization by just this, the amazing people in her organization is crazy. You guys, Brooke Burt is a four-star golden circle, four-star crystal executive. For those of you who don't know what that means, it means she can make anywhere between $100,000 to $168,000 annually working from home or anywhere she wants to work and helped helped develop other six figure annual earners you guys like i think how many like three or four well three within our organization but i do yeah. want to just just say that and this is another thing that makes me so cheery-eyed first about the company that we're partnered with um and about the how god has just orchestrated all the glory goes to god in all of this and yes when I thought I was like, I'm losing everything, I gained so much. I gained you, Mare. I gained this yeah. tribe of people who pour into me endlessly, who want me to do, whether they're financially linked or, to me or not, they want me to do well. And I was, in a, I was in an industry where it was cutthroat. It was like every day was, if this bar was doing something, it was like, oh, this, people are going to this bar, so you had to like up the ante, or you would never collaborate, and it just was a toxic environment to come into this this arena and this culture of our company, and people are like, go for your dreams. What do you want to do? Let me help you there. Let me help you up. Let's yep. let me support you. Let me be a mentor. I never had a mentor. I mean, I, my father was a great yeah. mentor, but not a woman who was empowered, who was like, I'm gonna help you. And I had women in my life who were like, no, 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 we're not helping you. We're going to talk badly about you and make you feel this big. But the most beautiful part of this um, amazing experience in this company is that my best friend joined me and we, we just rekindled our relationship and she now out earns me, which I want. I love it. All right. And it's a beautiful uh, thing. Yes. Dude, she out earned me. And she's like, you guys are like way down in there. And that's the best thing ever. Dana's on. Yeah, Dana. I know. And that's like the, when people think of network marketing, they think of this pyramid and the person at the top makes the most money. And you're going to get into that a little bit. But it's like, no, in our, our company is so incredible. And that potential is sky's the friggin' limit. And it's just, we're just, we're just at the beginning. And I just love it. So um, I did want to touch on a few things and maybe people out there who like give some hearts or love or sad faces if you do own your own business and maybe like how much money did you have to invest in your brick and mortar? Okay. So, you know, I, I, I tell people this all the time that this business that I'm doing now, I, I initially invested $400 for Kenny and I, we shared a pack, mind you, um, to set up a, a freedom wholesale account, to set up a business. And in my brick and mortar business, my father and I had to come up with $250,000, which we never recouped, um, which to this day still hurts my heart because it's a family business and it's hard to see your family put that investment in and then see it all just go away based upon bureaucracy and big business. And I'm all about, you know, supporting local businesses and businesses that do conscious business. Um, but yeah, it, it was a huge investment and we never recouped it. And we, we opened, um, in a period of where 2008 hit, where we had to take a huge loss. Um, and just to make a brick and mortar, I mean, is anybody on here would have a brick and mortar business or had one, they can relate because it's, it's, there's so much to think about and that you, you're the person that has to come up with the money at the end of the day. There's no yeah. one helping you. No one. <laughs> right. No one. Hey, like you had to pay you. I remember you saying you were like, I didn't know who to pay. Like I didn't have the money, but I had to pay like the employees and I had to pay rent and like, you know, and you just, I don't have the money. Who, what can I extend for as long as I can? Because I just don't have the money. And you did say something to me. Um, I was, I asked you, when was it that you it really clicked for you that you, this was the, like an incredible business and you said residual income. Yes. Residual income. So I, I tell people nowadays, especially with the, the way the economy has evolved and how quickly things are, are moving and how fast, um, you know, minimum wage is, is sad and student loans are, are so terrible. I'm, I'm huge. I'm, I'm very passionate about student loans because I feel like you know, people, young, young, young kids at 18 are signing off on these $100,000 loans and then they're getting 
not getting paid when they get out of school and they don't know what they're doing, then they don't get in the profession and it, it just, it, it's going to implode. But um, I, I'm just passionate about making money in your sleep because it hit me that, you know, I, I worked seven days a week in my bar. I spent there 70, 70 hours a week at times. I worked holidays. We never closed. Um, we closed at two in the morning. So, I mean, in, until the bar was closed at two and until I knew that that door was locked, I could get sleep. I mean, I finally got sleep once that bar was gone, but um, it was really when I woke up and I saw $54 in residual income in my bank account. And I said to myself, oh my gosh, oh my, I, made, I made money in my sleep. How, how is this? I need to learn more about this. I need to know more about this because I don't want to trade any more time for money. I don't want to do it. And that's why I, I didn't go and pursue another brick and mortar business. And, and I, don't, I don't sway people against it, but I tell people that really look at what you're signing off on before you get involved. Because people are like, like you and I were talking, like, I want a boutique. And it sounds glorious and it sounds magnificent, but I'm like, you have to be there to run that boutique. And if you're not there, someone else is going to run it. And the odds of them taking care of it like you would are not always great. And you know, what if someone calls no shows and, you know, you have to take time away from your family. And I was like, I, I'm now at home. I mean, Kenny's not home yet, but I'm, I'm at home. I'm actually, it's funny. I got my workout pants on underneath here and Same here. <laughs> right. And I, I'm still, I'm, I'm actually probably, probably made some money while I'm sitting here talking to you and, and, and not in a sense of like off of people, like in a, in a harmful way, but in a beautiful, glorious way. And that, I just really want more people to look at any type, even if it's not with network marketing, any type of way yeah. they're going to make any type of passive income, take a look at it and open your mind to it. The possibility. Right. Right. And you, and you said to start up this specific business, it was $400, but um, you ate that $400 and you know, the $250,000 that you and your dad did, you didn't eat that. Like oh, you we ate it in like, different ways. <laughs> Right, right. And so you were saying that you were going to give three tips, um, three tips, three steps, whatever, to help people to cut what to look for kind of a thing, right? Um, so to look for, so let's just be specific. Do you want me to give them tips on what to look for within network marketing or what to look for yeah. in an opportunity? <laughs> I would say, I don't know, which one do you feel like giving? Um, okay, so I would just say both. They're both intertwined. And I okay. you know a lot of people are looking at network marketing companies right now, which I encourage. But when you're looking for a company, align yourself. And I think someone had put this um, earlier. It's the values of the company. And if you're really going to love the, you've got to love the product. And I really encourage a consumable product because that's where the true residual income lies because if people are not using it daily if they're not consuming it then it's being stretched out and the odds of you reaping the benefits over and over and over are slimmer and um you know they're not getting a transformative uh you know feeling and they're not talking about it i mean I, and i love companies out there that have amazing products that provide beauty and all the things and there's a lot of people doing well in those but I think if you're looking at long term, like a really long term solution for your family, that's going to maybe pay you if you get sick, that is maybe going to pay you for the unexpected. Um, it helped yeah. Kenny and I last summer when Kenny and I actually wanted, Kenny wanted to quit his job. So he quit his job. We were in a position where he was able to quit his job and find another job that fit something that he like fit him. And so we had yeah. this beautiful business that was still going and still cranking and doing wonderful things. And so I think it just gives you more opportunity and choices, especially if you can't be somewhere, right? You see all these single bombs who are like getting five or six jobs and they don't even see their families. And it's just at the end of the day, they have nothing left to give. Well, here's an opportunity right here. I urge people to take a closer look, open up your mind, ask questions. You can ask me questions, Meredith, your audience. Yeah. I go to the company and say, who, who is doing the things I want to do here? I want to make a thousand dollars a month. Who's doing it in that company? I want to know what you're doing, what that looks like, how much time and energy. Uh, I, I just think it's asking the right questions. Right. That's yeah. Myself. Yeah. And I think that having a, a, like a physical like transformation is really important so that you have, you know, I didn't know Brooke from Adam. I didn't know Dana. I didn't know Laura. I didn't know any of them. 
but they got a physical transformation and people noticed, people saw, and they wanted to know what it was. And that's like, you know, that's how it all kind of snowballed into this crazy thing. Totally. <laughs> and you know, people say to me all the time there, they're like, Brooke, I'm not a salesperson. And I tell them, you know, I never, I never was a salesperson. I, I, but at the same time, you're selling everything in life. You're selling your kids on stuff. You're selling your husband on whether to go to a movie or not. This movie, you're talking about things. And so, you know, referral marketing, network marketing, direct sales is such a great tool because you're, you're already talking about it. Why not get paid for it? There, and there's so many other great resources. Affiliate marketing is another great way to make um, secondary income. There's so many things out there, but I just, I, I highly encourage people to take a look. And I know people are close-minded and they're maybe telling themselves a story that, oh, my uncle Jim had a bad experience with um, Amway a long time ago. Well, it's it, Amway, you know, people, things have evolved. Things have changed everything's yeah. going online. Even Target is going to affiliate marketing. They're smart. They're closing down most of their retail stores because everything is going online. So why not take advantage of it? I, I say our company is like the Nike of our parents' time. Right. I say it right now. If you don't get on board with one of these companies, they're going to go with or without you. I tell my team no. that. I'm like, invest in this. This would be the best ROI, return on your investment because you're it, this has paid me in the last five years, Mayor. It, I, I invested in myself and for what I have learned and I would have to get a business degree, which was $100,000 in student loans, right? To learn all these amazing things I've learned, but I've gotten paid and it's like a self-development program with amazing yeah. people. I, I just, I just, so those are my, my calls to action to people is just take a look at opportunities that are gonna pay you in your sleep, that you're gonna align with the values, and that you're going to be able to bring um, secondary or even a third stream of income because you just never know what's going to yeah. happen anymore. I never love know. that. Just smart. It's just being smart. And I posted this quote a little bit ago, and it said, there's an older person inside of you, like, praying and depending on you to make a smart decisions now, whether it's with your health or whether it's with yourself financially. Like, you guys need to set yourself up for success. And I'm not – bashing college at all I didn't go to college but like student loans are killing people like she's saying like it's crazy and so do yourself a favor and eat your overhead in some capacity yeah. and get paid in different ways if you can figure it out um to get paid in different ways and have passive yeah. income and I I just don't know where I would be if this wouldn't be in my life like I wouldn't yeah oh I, be I don't nightmare. know where I would be either I, I agree I, I I'm so grateful for the Coovers I'm so grateful for our, our, our leadership within our company. I'm so grateful for the prof Eric Worre and his leadership in the profession of network marketing and really bringing it and up leveling people. I want to up level this profession, not just our company, but people all in all areas of this industry. It is so amazing because here's the thing. It's no risk. I mean, people like for me, I didn't, I didn't invest and most businesses, brick and mortar businesses, 80% of them go out of business within the first two years. So we were lucky yeah. just to, you know, my, my father's expertise helped us going because he's had his bar for 35 years, which I'm so proud of him. But just like what you're saying, the old paradigm is really hard. I just, there's so many different avenues. Like there's webinars out there for you to learn. You don't have to invest all this money into getting a degree, another degree, which I, I'm all for a conventional education. If you're really going into it, being very clear on what you want to do. But if you're 18 going into it, signing a hundred thousand dollar loan, I think it's really irresponsible for us to be doing that. But that's just such as life and hopefully that you know people will just start that the old paradigm the 40 by 40 by 40 is gone um we're not going to have retirement we're not going to have social security so it's time for us to be take this on ourselves and be responsible for our future financially right i love that i so agree with that i feel like people are so right now like i'm entitled and this is what we're supposed to do and parents are stuck in their own ways and they think that this is a risk but you're taking a bigger risk not investing in yourself and like I was going to say that I do not want to know the person who I would have become had I not taken this because of all the personal development and the people pouring into me. And that's something too, you guys, is really look at the compensation plans. I know I've said this before. I sound like a broken record, but look at the compensation plans. Because like, for example, 
um, Dana, who Brooke enrolled, who's also on my team, is making more money than us, but we still benefit from her. She didn't leave us. There's no breakaway. There's no, you know, so it's, it's really important to look at that and to see the structure um, and to know the mentorship. Like she said, that people genuinely, there's no cutthroat. We genuinely want to help each other out. And if there is that competitive, competitiveness or whatever, you just really want to know that people genuinely want to help you and that people are willing to mentor you. And if you're not getting that somewhere, believe me, we want to help as many people as possible, create a multiple six and seven figure income. So um, yeah, thanks for joining Yeah, us. I agree with you there. <laughs> uh, just to echo what you're saying is that I, I would give back all the money that I've earned um, to not change the person I am today. Um, I've grown, I've learned, I've, I'm, I'm a more professional person than I've ever been. Um, and, you know, I, I like what you're saying. I, I just encourage people to ask questions, ask the right questions for your family, for your goals. Where do you see yourself within five years? Where do you see, um, you know, your, your investment in five years? Where do you see your retirement in five years? What's going to help you get yourself there? And especially, you know, I definitely, I, I support corporate jobs. I think they're great for people, but I also think that people need to have an um, entrepreneurial um, mind shift, um, especially right now is like invest in something that's going to pay you for the work that you do um, outside of your corporate job. And I don't like to say side hustle, but I like side investment. Um, there's so many different ways that you can go about it. But again, our, our company has blessed me in ways I can I, I'm just so in gratitude and I, I, I wish I could just give them the biggest hugs. I try to at events and just tell Kathy, um, you know, cause they came out of retirement for our company and they came out uh, of a really cush lifestyle to help um, like what you said, um, create the most six and, and we, what, what do we have? 250 um, millionaires now within our organization, our company. Yeah. Us, yeah. That's unheard of. It's unheard of. And, and yeah. I don't, and I, and I, I know that people think millionaires and they shut down, but millionaires is, you know, they've helped hundreds of thousands of people within their organization. And that's what I hope to do. I have big dreams and I want to contribute on a bigger level. And this is going to allow me to do so. Yeah. We're going to put you guys, that's like our goal is that just helping people, serving people and meeting needs. Um, even if they have a love for something else, but allow, helping them bring in this extra income to really go after their dreams and what they want to do. And that's really the best part. So Brooke, thank you so much for jumping on with me. You are such a light and I love you. I'm so sad you're so far away. Hopefully you'll be close. But I'll come. <laughs> well, um, I'm hoping. So um, thanks for joining us, guys, and giving us all the love and hearts. We love you, and we will see you later. And if you want to chat with any of us, just go ahead and message. You see Brooke's name, my name. Go ahead and message us. We will talk to you later. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Thanks.